So I thought uh, I'll do an update on my Echeveria video from August 2021 and um, now it's March 2022 and let's see how these um, succulents are doing. Okay, so first of all we've got um, Echeveria von Nuremberg and um, so this is, you can compare the succulents from August uh, to March. Okay, so here we go. That's, that's lovely. Second one is Sedum Adolfi Golden Glow. And uh, this one in August had a lovely uh, golden uh, color to it. Um, but I think I didn't have it by the window so uh, for quite a long time so i think that's where it's lost uh, the golden color and it's more uh, mainly green at the moment okay what happens that the um echeveria agavoides alienor um was actually it, it didn't survive unfortunately um i wasn't able to look after it well enough i'm not sure what happened there but um obviously it's it went to uh, plant heaven. Um, anyway, so that's that. Uh, the same, almost the same thing with the um, Sat Satosa firecracker. And um, so it's uh, the only thing left really is this, this leaf here, which I'm trying to propagate. Uh, and I've, I've been propagating it for a very long time. It hasn't died, um, it, it just hasn't become, uh, it, it hasn't given me any offshoot. Um, so I think uh, it's been like this for months now. And um, still still just a leaf and no, no baby. So next is Ionium Kiwi. Ionium Kiwi. And as you can see, it's actually, uh, it, it's doing very well because it's given me lots of babies. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's got lots of babies growing. Okay, so that's, that's, that's beautiful. So it's doing very, very well. And it's, I, I love the pinky green, light green color um, that this, this has. So that's, that's fantastic. And next is Echeveria peacocky. And it hasn't changed. It doesn't look like it's changed very much from when I first got it. Um, I don't think it's still, it, it's looking a bit more green, I think, than blue. Um, it hasn't grown very much and I think that's because I hadn't placed it uh, to, um, at a window so um, it, it's not getting uh, much sun. This is one of my favorites. It is Echeveria affinis black knight and um, so this is, it, it's got a, a lovely dark brown green color and um, one of my favorites and look how beautiful that's my black knight and this is my echeveria polydonis and look i think i think it has actually grown a great deal um, well, to my eyes anyway, and it's got that beautiful, beautiful greeny blue uh, with, with pink on the tips. Here we go. Isn't that beautiful? One of my favorites too. Okay, and Last but not least is my Peperomia Fairy Ray. 
Peperomia fairy ray. So I'm not sure if you remember what, what it looked like uh, in August, but it didn't have a lot of these um, green beans. Uh, so it, it's certainly looking healthy and it's grown a lot. And, uh, and it's got lots of what I would call branches. Fantastic. Okay, so this is Peperomia Fairy Ray Green Beans. So here they are again, uh, my Echever my succulents. Um, so this would be from August to March. Okay, so Echeveria Pearl von Nuremberg. And this is Sedum Adolfi Golden Glow. And this plant, which was Agavoides Eleanor, which went to plant heaven. And this is uh, the Echeveria Sutosa firecracker. And um, it, it's only got a leaf left and it's holding on to dear life. And this. This is Ionium kiwi, Ionium kiwi, and with babies, it's giving me babies, okay, and yeah, beautiful, beautiful babies, it's fantastic, okay, and then, so, we've got, we've got Echeveria peacocky. That's gorgeous also. Okay, and this is Echeveria Aphenus Black Knight. Echeveria Aphenus Black Knight. And we've got Echeveria Polydonis. Echeveria Polydonis. Beautiful. And this is Peperomia Fairy Ray. Green beans. Peperomia Fairy Ray. Green beans. And here we are. Beautiful, beautiful succulents. Beautiful.